Hello everybody and good morning to everyone. I hope you're having a really good week so far. And uh, let's think about the weather for just a minute. But first we'll say good morning everybody. Can you do that back to me? Good. Okay, so uh, let's think about the weather. Is it raining today? No. Is it cold? No. Is it snowing? No, definitely not. It is pretty warm today. Actually, it could be hot. So what would be the word for hot? Could it be this? Actually, sometimes in sign language, you could have different signs to mean the same thing. So for example, some deaf people may say hot and they have their face like hot, like it's really, really warm. And other signs could be this. They take their finger and like wipe the sweat off their brow. It is hot. Okay, so the way we talk to each other, we use our hands and we use our face as well. And people who talk with their mouth and can speak words, we do the same thing. We just don't think about it that much, okay? So, so let's think about what is happening this week. What is happening this week? Do you know what's happening on Sunday, this coming Sunday? Is it Mother's Day? Nope, already had Mother's Day. Is it Kids' Day? Well, if you ask parents, they'd say every day is Kids' Day. Is it Grandparents' Day? No. Is it Father Christmas Day? No. It is Father's Day. Father's Day. Okay. Father's Day can be really hard. And maybe you're there sitting and thinking, Pastor Simpson, and maybe you feel a little bit sad inside because maybe you don't live with your father. Maybe you don't even know who your father is. And it makes you really sad because maybe some of your friends or some of the other kids in class maybe talk about doing things with their dad or going to places and things like that or playing and all that. And I know, I, can, I know that can be really sad. But I don't want to, I want to do something for Father's Day because I think it's important. I did not have a dad growing up. Well, I did some. When I was 10 years old, my father left and I didn't see him very much at all. Maybe just a few times after that and then that was it. It's really sad, but I think being a dad is important and I love being a dad. I love being a dad. I'm gonna share with you just a few things, but here's the thing. The Bible says this, are you ready? The Bible says this, children obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. Let me say it again. Children, obey your parents, and that includes your mom and your dad, in the Lord, for this is right. But if you say, Pastor Simpson, I don't have a dad, what do I do? Well, here's what I often tell children. You may not have a dad, and I didn't have one <clears throat> after I was 10 years old, and so my mom sort of became my dad, and it wasn't perfect, I know. But she really, really loved us and she gave so much for us. She worked really, really hard. Maybe you've got a mom like my mom, like that. And she works really, really hard and works really hard to be both a mom and a dad. Maybe you've got an uncle who lives nearby and is sort of like a dad to you. Maybe you've got a grandpa who's sort of like a dad. And maybe you've just got a friend or maybe an older brother who's sort of like a dad. Okay, so don't feel just because he's not your sort of proper dad that he couldn't be like a dad. So that's what we want to think about. And I want to, we have a special song that we're going to do, but I want to share something with you that I want you to make sure that whoever it is in your life, whether it is your dad, an older brother, an uncle, a grandpa, or your mom, won't you do something for them? You don't have to go out and buy something big. I always tell my children, and I tell assemblies for, for years now, you know what, what was bit, what's been really important to me <clears throat> is when my children made something for me because that meant they took some of their time and some of their 
heart to make something. And that's what's really important to me. Let me show you a couple of examples, okay? Now, I've got a couple of things that, if, if any of the teachers that are watching, they may have seen this before, because I show these couple all the time, but they mean so much to me. I've got this right here. Okay, let me show you this. Okay, this is a little, what we used to call a pinch pot. And all of it is is some clay, a bowl of clay, a, bo a ball of clay that my daughter made this. And it says, uh, Courtney, and this was her teacher's initials, I think. Courtney, 1995. And that was, let me add some numbers. 26 years ago. Can you believe that? 26 years ago. My daughter made that. And she put her fingers in this in this ball and do, 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 like that and made a little pot. And then they put it in a big oven and they made it really hard and they painted it. And I've had this for 26 years. It's got a wobbly top and it has all kind of bumps in there. But you know what? This is worth a million pounds to me. My Chase made this for me. He drew this for me in 2009. <clears throat> so that is 12 years ago. And there may be a teacher or two at Grange Lane, if Grange Lane's watching this, because Chase went to Grange Lane, uh, that may remember Chase. Uh, and so Chase drew this uh, picture for me. And it's really simple. I'm not sure you can see it okay, but let me just point out a few things. Uh, uh, there's some clouds there, and there's some birds, and he put his sun over there, and there was God. There's God up there. And then, I, I, now when I labeled this, I thought that was Chase, and that was me, but he said, no, Dad, I, I got it wrong. He said, because there's hair on that one, and there's no hair on that one. That's supposed to be me, and that's supposed to be Chase. But he drew that picture for me, and I absolutely love that picture. And so I put it in a laminator. I put laminate on it, and it's plastic, and I hang it on my wall in my office, and so I can see it every day. My daughter did this one for me, and this is a card. Now, she's a really good artist. She, really, she draws very, very nicely, but she made this for me. I think she made it on the computer. But this is another kind of thing. I realize maybe we won't be able to do anything like this, but I'm, all I'm saying is that it doesn't have to cost money. You don't have to spend a lot of money, but do something that you like to do. But she drew this because here's me in the car, and she knows I like to drink coffee when I drive. So there's some coffee cups, and there's some of our cats that, that, that we've had. And uh, we, we go through the drive through at McDonald's. And I really, that, made, that, that, that picture made me laugh when my daughter gave me this a, a few years back for Father's Day. Okay, so all kinds of things that you can do. Doesn't have to be fancy, but it just comes from you. That's all that's important, okay? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to sing a song, and I'm going to put the words up on the screen, and I'm going to grab my guitar right now. This is a simple little song, and it goes like this. Okay. One day soon, we'll be able to be back together, and we'll be able to do songs together. Okay. It goes like this. There is a man who loves me so, and daddy is his name, oh. I love da and da. I love da and da. I love da and da. Daddy is his name. Oh, what does da and da spell? Easy peasy. Dad, right? Dad. There is a man who plays with me. Daddy is his name. Oh, I love and da. I love da. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to pray, 
and ask God to help us have a really good week. There's just a few weeks left in school, okay? I know it's getting warm out, but stay focused. Listen to your teachers. Be attentive with what? Your eyes, your ears, your mouth, and your body. And let's finish strong. Let's do the best we can this last three or four weeks here in school to do the best we can to finish out this year. It's been hard, I know, but hopefully when we come back in September, a lot of the, a lot of the coronavirus stuff will be finished and we'll be able to be back together and do a lot of the things that we've missed for these last couple of years now, okay? We're going to pray. Here we go. God, we want to thank you for today. I want to pray for all the children as we think about Father's Day. God, I pray for all the fathers around that you would encourage them. And I pray for all the children. Help them to know that they love them and they appreciate them. And I pray for all the children that they would do something to show their dads that they love him and that they appreciate him. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well done, everybody. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.